Welcome into Sunday Sermon, where we read from uh, Mr. Lately Fuller Jr.'s book, this tome that he started writing in the late 50s and uh, put out an edition in uh, what, uh, uh, 1984. I actually have the 1984 edition. It's in, it's in Africa. It's in, uh, it's in uh, Tambaza. Uh, but while I'm in the States, I will read from the... Uh, this newly revised edition. This is the uh, uh, 2016 edition of the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept Book. It's a, as it says, it's a, it's a compensatory counter racist code. A lot of times people are saying, got to be on code. Well, I don't know, you know, everybody says that, but our code uh, that we use is Mr. Nilly Fuller Jr. Suggestions. And uh, it's a revised, this, like I said, it's a revised expanded edition. Now, be clear though, this is a, a, a textbook workbook, uh, you know, more like a reference guide, right? For thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, white supremacy. Now, if you're not a victim, if you don't believe you're a victim, if it doesn't apply to you, if something offends you, uh, uh, I don't believe in white supremacy, whatever, whatever your reason is, then this is not the book for you. You shouldn't spend your money on this. This, this revised edition is, uh, how many pages? Some Almost 500 pages, something like that. Let's put my glasses on. Plus, I'm suffering from uh, beating up on a cold. Uh, well, this is 445. There's a word guide, uh, a, com uh, a companion, I think a word guide. I might get that in a little while because I'm going to St. Louis because my word guide is in St. Louis. Anyway, uh, but this is the main book that's revised from, like I said, 1984 edition. Uh, now, there are... Uh, uh, right here. There are, uh, he says, there are nine areas of human activity. It's economics, education, entertainment, uh, labor, law, politics, right? Religion, sex, and war, counter war. See that right there? In case you need to take a screenshot, as they say, in the, in the modern world, right? Those are the nine areas of human activity. A lot of times people want to put other areas in, but, uh, I personally like the number nine. I mean, I think it's a complete, so I think it's fine. Okay. Since I'm battling this, uh, this thing that's now in my nose, <laughs> that I'm trying to hydrate as much as possible. This is coconut water, by the way. Ah, I had some veggies earlier. I had some lentils earlier. Okay, so um, in fact, let's just well, he defines the nine areas. But I'm not going to do it today. But let's just go to an area. And here's the thing: in, the, in he has a, a, a the counter racist code show. Well, it comes on every Tuesday on the internet from uh, nine to eleven in the morning Eastern time. Uh, where he, well, Mr. Daly Fuller Jr. is ninety-three years old, and he's still uh, putting it out there. Well, he works from his book only. Uh, he answers questions, and it's quite enlightening. Uh, we do these Sunday things. Well, we just feel like doing it. <laughs> but on, on this kind of racist code show on, on, on Tuesdays, he does not deal in the ninth area, which is war counter war. He does not deal in that area at all. Uh, for, I, I would say for obvious reasons, but let's leave that out of it for right now. I, when I do these Sunday sermons, um, especially when I get back to Tambaza, then I won't, or, then I won't be dealing, I will be dealing in that area, the ninth area, but I won't be dealing in the area eight, the sex area, which is what we're going to deal with today. Wait a second. Don't, don't worry. Don't, I'm not trying to confuse you. Uh, for a number of reasons, and I'll wait till I get back to uh, to Baza to explain that. Uh, but uh, just uh, since I'm here, I'm not in the Baza yet. We're gonna, I'm going to take a whole, a whole long time to go to the page 294, area sex, and we're going to do this whole list here he has here. This whole list, we're going to go by each item. There are 13 items. Not a good number. I should leave one out, make it 12. I don't know. Can't do it. Reading from the book. This is this is our scripture book. This is the scripture that we read from every Sunday. Uh, and uh, the title is this black and, or the, the bold, the bold, the bold type there. It says, when choosing each other as sexual mates, promise each other that you will never do the following in regards to your interaction with each other and with others. 
Okay, and like I said, this is a textbook workbook. Uh, and like any textbook workbook, you might not, you know, you may not agree with anything in the whole book, but uh, no, but, but we just, well, it, it is what it is, as they say. So let's go down each one uh, in turn. Number one, do not say, I'm not, do not, starting off wrong, all right. Uh, when choosing each other as sexual mates, promise each other that you will never do the following in regards to your interaction with each other and others. You are not to do or say anything to deceive each other. You know, don't lie. And you know, uh, uh, omission, you know, not, you know, that's lying too. That's the case people are unclear with that. Two, uh, do not make promises that you cannot or will not keep. Oh, there's one. Oh, you know what that means, okay? Number three, do not do or say anything to each other that is discourteous or insulting. Okay, that, that, that's for itself, because if you, well, you say that you want to be involved, then you want to be involved, and you don't want to, well, you don't want to be discourteous. It's like you don't want to deceive. <laughs> do not engage in sexual intercourse and or sexual play with a white person. This is kind of interesting because uh, if you're, you're if you're with a not so, uh, let me go back a little bit. Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has three categories. Right? There's uh, the non-white person, then there's the white person, and there's white supremacists. Okay, those are the three categories. Now, when he says do not engage such goes and play with a white person, well, he's that's that's pretty clear. So we're going to leave all white people out of it. Then, again. Well, that it says what it says, right? Uh, number five, do not produce offspring except for a guaranteed agreement with one another in advance to make provisions for all of the needs of that offspring. Oh boy! Okay, it is. It says what it says, you know. So you shouldn't, uh, especially in this day and age, when you can uh, block procreations or, well, block. I'm gonna say block procreations. Uh, then there's no reason. I mean, unless you say, "Hey, look, we're going to have a kid," but here's here's what it takes to raise a kid in this in this society, in this circumstance, in this in this time period. It's going to take. And, and since we are such a, mon a money driven society, or whatever it is, but it doesn't even mean money. It could just be resources. I mean, you might that the, the one partner might have a a big family, the other partner might have a big family, and usually in traditional used to be, you know, families marry so you can provide for, for each other and have this child grow up uh, with what, what the child needs. Uh, number six, do not produce financial, material, and or time and energy problems for or against each other as a result of sexual intercourse and or sexual play with each other. Okay? So you don't, no, no. Let's not do the money problem. You're in a capitalist system and you know what that means. So, Hey, if you can't if you if you can't deal with capitalism in this system, then don't play. Okay. Number seven, do not spread disease germs or uh, to others. I'm sorry. Do not spread disease germs to each other as a result of sexual intercourse and/or sexual play with with others. Okay, that's self-explanatory. No. Uh, uh, plus, if you're if you're an exclusive, I guess it's also saying you should be in an exclusive relationship. And if you're in an exclusive relationship, then the disease can't permeate that relationship. No? Okay. Um, uh, number eight. Uh, 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 do not oppose one another choosing to engage in sexual intercourse and or play with other non-white persons. Wow. Now, this is kind of interesting. Hmm. So, he's saying... He's saying you should be together. Well, well I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me go back. Number seven. <coughs> excuse me. Number says, says don't spread disease or germ to each other as a result of sexual intercourse and play, right? But on eight, he says, Oppo uh, uh, do not oppose one another choosing to engage in sexual intercourse and play with other non-white persons. I, I guess uh, that's ex if you're not choosing the vows or, or whatever, whatever you say for for marriage or, or exclusivity. So I guess when you come together, you, if you say, then, hey, we shouldn't be with, with anybody else, then this, 
this number eight doesn't really apply, no? Okay. Number nine, uh, do not keep uh, do not keep secret should be secrets from each other. Uh, uh, any uh, do not keep do not keep from do not seek, keep secret from each other. Any act of sexual intercourse and or sexual play that you engage in with someone else than each other. Okay, that go, again, you know, if you're if you're you know if, if you've agreed not to be with anybody else, this one doesn't apply. Okay. Uh, do not uh, or do not never uh, reveal the identity, name, and or non or of any non-white persons with whom you have engaged in sexual intercourse and or sexual play, unless. <laughs> oh boy, I'm battling. Unless. Uh, do not reveal. Excuse me. <laughs> Always comes in twos. I bet you never had a preacher on Sunday. Have to, well, maybe you did. I don't know. Have to fight through a cold and to be sneezing in your face as you. Well, not in your face. This is first. Hey, this is interesting. Uh, uh, never reveal the the name and or or, or any non white persons with whom you have engaged in sexual intercourse and or sexual play unless absolutely necessary in order to avoid unjust harm uh, being done uh, to yourself or others. Okay, I guess that's so self-explanatory. In other words, it was a private act. Even though it, I guess it was you had an agreement. Well, if it's a private act, keep it private. Well, that's how I interpret that. Okay, now we're up to uh, uh, number 11. Okay, here we go. Uh, do not demand anything of each other and do not ask for anything without offering the same when you can. Okay, do unto others as do unto you, or whatever. Whatever your agreement is, uh, you should have a, I guess, it's like almost like 100%, 100%, right? You can, there's no compromises. You, you're going to be 100% this, they're going to be 100, 100%, and therefore the relationship is 100. Number 12, do not receive more than you give to each other. Do not receive more than you give to each other. I guess that's back to 100 no, but that's kind of interesting. Uh, uh, I, I guess it shouldn't be my interpretation because this is the scripture, but, but with scripture, we should discuss things like this. You know? My position in everything is like, I'll give 100%. If you don't want to give 100%, that's going to affect the relationship. But that's not on me. That's on the other person, you see? Uh, uh, do not receive more than you can give. Okay. 13, this is the last call. Name call. Curse or discourteous or, or commit violence against each other. Do not uh, do not curse, whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, I happen to think for this particular one, this is kind of interesting because I have this thing that I don't actually curse, right? Uh, but there are basically three, you know, there are three, three exceptions with an asterisk there. And exceptions are... I'm allowed to curse on my birthday. I'm allowed to curse on New Year's. Uh, let's say that, that time period, right? Those are the two. Those, those two. Number three, I'm allowed to curse on a blue moon. By the way, the next blue moon in this, as we speak, because this has been recorded in um, the end of November. Uh, the next blue moon is uh, next year, uh, 2023, right? Uh, March 24th, 2023. Which happens, that, was, that was my mother's birthday. That's the next... Blue moon. So I can curse on the blue moon. I can curse on the other two. The other time I can curse because uh, cursing or, you know, or, see, the problem is that when you say curse, you're putting a curse on somebody. Uh, I would say I'm not really talking about cursing right now. So this is kind of a fine line. I'm actually talking about so-called foul language or whatever have you, because that's usually an emotional thing, which I guess you curse somebody. It's an emotional thing. It's an emotional thing. And sometimes you have to let out an emotional thing. If you're in an exclusive relationship, if you're in a relationship, then sometimes it gets hot and heated. You're not gonna. I wouldn't say fight, but sometimes you boom, 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 boom. You try to you try to control that, but that's a a steam valve. You know, it's a valve to let it out. So I actually can uh, curse um, at my wife. I don't. What? Well, that's not true. I I, I I I should say I can curse in the presence of my wife, uh, but I don't. Right? Okay. Then I, I agree with this. I don't curse at my wife. Okay. 
if I can curse because I'm in a situation, you know, something happens, I might curse have to let it out. And, you know, I only got three days, well, two days, official two days and one uh, blue moon day. <laughs> but things happen. And so you have to let that, that steam valve out. So, so that's, that, that's what, uh, that's what I feel as far as that, that thing. Again, the sermons, are, um, you, you know, it's, it's now I say up to, let me put it this way. It's like, uh, it's like any scripture, you know, the scripture, the scripture, the scripture has been written down the cat, the cats or whoever did it, they gone, you know, you're not supposed to really, you say, if you, if you agree with this, uh, this, I don't no, I'm not going to choose my word correct. I'm, I'm going to choose my word like I'm choosing them. If you agree with this cult, everything is a cult, right? <laughs> because as Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. will tell you, there's only one religion, and that's white supremacy. Okay? And this is a counter white supremacy. But so this makes this a cult. Like all the other so-called religions you have, no matter what the religion is, it's a cult from a, from a, from a source that they've spun off. Now I'm really preaching. It's that they spun off. So... Uh, so like with any cult, you know, we can argue about the people in the cult can argue about the cult. Let's put it that way. So, uh, again, when I, when I start doing a sermon and have my congregation, uh, then we can, we can argue about these things in the cult and maybe, um, all the cult starts to, um, evolve, alter, uh, disagree. And out of that cult might spring other cults, remember? but our source will be the scripture here from Mr. Dealey Fuller Jr. Uh, you can get the book, by the way. By going to uh, the URL or the the, the website um, uh, producejustice.com. That's producejustice.com. P R O D U C E J U S T I C E dot com, and all the books are available. And and, and plus, or uh, um, uh, links to uh, where to uh, other things that Mr. Nilly Fuller Jr. is talking about. And of course, is every Tuesday uh, you can also uh, tune in, or you know, like I do, download thing later and just i usually listen to the broadcast on a usually on a sunday sometimes on a saturday but usually on a sunday before or way before i do these these brokers something that gets sometimes i get something from from there i want to talk about that they said in the thing but that's rare right usually i stay with the um with the um with the scripture i being on uh, me t from the patterson second to train to tibet letting you know what i only suspect